What's up guys? So I'm back again working with Super B Wigs Hair Company. I've worked with them multiple times before as you've seen on my channel and they are by far without a doubt one of my favorite companies to work with from the hair quality to the lace wig construction. They are on top of their game and this wig right here that I am unboxing this is one of their best kept secrets not really a secret because they want everyone to know about it but this is one of their best type of wigs right here so as you can see I have a full lace unit here and it is a curly style but before I get super in-depth about this wig I want to talk about the actual lace of this wig because this is one of their Swiss lace wigs with the undetectable knots so just straight out of the packaging as you all saw this is the lace held up on my skin now this lace is super thin it's breathable and although like people can get lace wigs to look really natural they have to put a lot of effort in. they have to bleach the knots they have to pluck the lace they have to do so much work now this this can really just melt into your skin in seconds within applying as you can see the lots the knots they've been pre-bleached already and in addition to the knots as not since I'm talking about them the traditional wigs, they have about two to three, maybe four hairs placed into one grid of the lace. But Super B Lace Wigs, what they do is they put one hair into each grid, which gives them the ability to create this flawless, invisible, undetectable knot finish right here. So as you can see, and as I said, I've got a curly, curly unit. Love me some curly hair. And it also has a elastic band, but the nice feature about this elastic band is that it is detachable. You have a choice, so it's kind of like a bra strap, as you can see, the clips right here. You can choose to hook it over here and have an elastic band, or you can choose not to have an elastic band and unhook it all together. It's also got like a longer band. Some people have larger heads than others. But as you can see, once again, full lace unit. And I'm going to be right back after I cut off this excess lace. And so as I'm parting it, as you can see this side by side, it makes for a much better parting and natural look. So this hasn't been bleached by me or anything plucked by me. Um, I literally have just taken it out of the box. I haven't done anything to it. Lace still on. Styled it. Nothing. And this is how the parting looks compared to another wig company where the knots are not undetectable. Okay guys, so I went ahead and co-washed the wig. I didn't use anything special, just some Aussie Moist Conditioner. Um, the one in like the purple packaging that says Moist. I don't know if they're all in purple packaging, but that's the one I used. And then I let it air dry and then all I did was kind of fluff out the roots of my hair with my fingers and like a pick. And I put some two twists. As you can see though, I do have... Um, a headband or a head wrap on my edges because although this is like the HD lace I'm used to putting at least a little bit of gel on the lace at least where the part is and so I'm out of my comfort zone but I didn't use any glue I didn't use any gel I just put some bobby pins on the side of my head um, on the what are these temples of the hairline to make sure it's at least a little bit secured I don't want my wig to go flying off because I am about to wear this out and about um, and what else did I do? Oh, I spritzed a little bit of hairspray, like lifted up the hair hairline and spritzed a little bit of hairspray right on top of the hair. I didn't pull it up or anything. And so we're about to take this off on camera to see exactly how the lace acted because this is that HD lace. Uh-oh, we're getting some stickage. Okay, here we go. Oh wow, I feel like a dork because I did do my makeup after I um, put this head wrap on and as you can see, somebody didn't blend out their makeup very well. Somebody being me, so let me just, let me grab a brush real quick and, okay. Okay, so I think I think we've got our face blended out a little bit, but I've taken that um, this paper wrap. I honestly cannot remember what this is called, but it's the paper wrap that they use for doing hair, hairstyling. I always kind of tie one around my hair if I want to really like 
secure my edges or make sure my lace is laid or anything like that but here is the part oh and I did I also forgot to mention I did not bleach these knots either so here's the part and I do kind of like when I wear curly hair I do my signature two twist up and so you can see another little bit of a part and then this is the hairline okay this is the hairline not the best because you can see the bobby pins right here and you can see a little bit of right residue from that hairspray like I said I never done that before I did spritz um, like I didn't lift up the lace I just held the hair like this and spritzed right on top of the the hairline and then put the head wrap on so maybe that wasn't the best method I could probably do much better but that's not the point you can see what I'm really trying to show you is the hairline of the wig because I didn't pluck and I didn't bleach this is how it comes once again ignore like my bobby pins and my white residue and then same thing on this side right here so let's zoom back out and then these are the curls the hair it's super soft it's nice and fluffy especially for there not to be any styling product in it I might need to fluff it out a little bit more because it's not as I guess big as I want it I would kind of want it maybe a little you know a little like this but the hair, it's super soft. It's a good length because I don't like my curly hair to be super long like when I'm rocking a body wave or a straight hair. But I can definitely get into these HD um, super invisible, super thin, undetectable lace and knots because you don't have to bleach, you don't have to pluck, you don't have to be a hairstylist because a lot of people, they can throw on a wig, but a lot of people, they don't know how to properly bleach and that's where people's, their wigs, they lose lifespan because they start to bald, they start to shed, because you can overprocess those knots. If you overprocess knots, they start falling out, they start ripping out, and it's over with. It's done. But this, you honestly literally just have to put it on your head. And to be truthful, um, it also came with this elastic band right here. I did not use the elastic band. I just kind of moved the elastic bands that are built into the cap. So um, if I used this, I probably wouldn't even have had to use these bobby pins or um, do any hairspray. It probably just would have set flush and nicely to my scalp. So next time I do apply this unit, I will try that because it honestly seems like you really don't have to do anything. You just put it on and go.